Hey, Dustin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth Managers. Happy, happy Wednesday if you're watching this on a Wednesday. Uh, a lighter week this week, so I kind of want to actually uh, teach you guys a little something. If you're looking around for a financial advisor or you don't want to be the subject of one of the two stories I'm going to read you, one is sad, one is awesome. I mean, I, I don't, this is interesting to me, so I'm going to share it with you. Uh, the bottom line is we're going to talk about financial advisors stealing customers' money. Um, this is dangerous for me to talk about because people will say, you're a financial advisor. How do I know you're not stealing my money? Well, we actually can't. We don't set our business up that way. We work with Foli uh, Folio Institutional, which is Goldman Sachs, and we set it up in a way where they don't allow us to take money out of accounts. We can only manage the accounts. We can see what you do. We can help you with it, but we can't add and remove money. Um, either way, when you're working with a financial advisor, you probably want to look them up, right? You can look up the company. You can look up the, fir uh, the, the advisor themselves if you want. What you're going to do is go to brokercheck.finra.com. You can either type in someone's name. You can type in firm in here if you want, and you can look and see uh, what you want to know about them. In, case, in our case, Jazz Wealth Managers. There you go. You can see our address, everything about us. You can go to the SEC website because we are SEC registered. You can see that we are SEC registered. We are not individually state registered, meaning we can work everywhere. Here's all the states we do business in. More coming there. You can actually go into forms that we've filed, any disclosures or any interesting things that have happened to us. Um, basically, get a full background check on an advisor and you probably should do that. Um, one thing you might note, you look in there, you're gonna see something called disclosures. You won't find any for us because we don't have any, but disclosures are basically a way of saying they got in trouble, something happened. And most of them aren't bad. You could look up the guys you see on TV and a lot of them are gonna have disclosures, just mistakes they made along the way. What you don't wanna see is disclosures or penalties or whatever that um, have to do with intentional mismanagement. Those are the bad apples in the mix there. So um, there's a lot of weird disclosures like you forgot to send an email to a customer and you sent it to some other customer and that customer was exposed to some information or something, right? Those things happen and you know, we all try to do as best we can. Uh, but here's why you want to check out your advisors. First one, this is a sad story, but this is actually true. A Texas advisor has been charged with killing a client after stealing his money. Yikes, right? This is all happening in the same week, by the way. Uh, he was a financial advisor that basically gained the trust and, and, and respect of his customer there who was 62. Then he shot him and he tried to make it look like a suicide uh, to get his money. He had a $2 million insurance policy and the advisor moved the $2 million insurance policy in the name of the trust which the advisor controlled. Uh, yikes, right? Uh, this advisor had a bit of a background, so anybody who would have researched him might have said, I don't know, this guy's on the up and up. Uh, nonetheless, that guy's in jail, but he killed him, and they actually went back and found uh, that there were other victims as well. That's the sad story. Uh, we don't want to like to hear things like that, but um, here's the best story ever. I swear to you, I laughed out loud. I was so excited to see this. Um, here, this is the headline. You got to look this up. A financial advisor was arrested by the FBI after a submarine chase. <laughs> Come on, right? How awesome is that? So he's stealing customers' money. It was a $35 million Ponzi scheme. Essentially, the guy was never investing money. He was just stealing the money, giving it to older customers, and then hoping to find new customers. There was a car chase in California. The FBI was en route. Car chase goes to the end of this lake. The advisor gets out, grabs the whole submarine thing, dives into the lake, and spends 25 minutes underwater. And the FBI is standing there just watching the bubbles because he was, try he was just trying to hopefully sit there until they left. They finally got him 25 minutes later, pulled him out of what appear apparently was frigid cold waters, he was using a Yamaha 350 Li underwater submersible device. My best belief there, I've never looked it up. Uh, I could probably just look it up real quick, but I don't think it's a like, you know, a drug mule type submarine or anything like that. I think it's one of those that you put, oh, yeah, you put it over yourself there and you kind of roll under the thing there. Uh, and it's got a little fan and everything. I mean, that's hilarious. He tried to get away with that. He's going to jail for 20 years there, 20 years, and a fine of $250,000 for each witness tampering account, $500,000 of twice the value of the property, whichever is greater for his money laundering. Uh, yeah, he's, he's going to jail for a long time is the basic story there. But how funny is that? A car chase ends with a guy diving underwater trying to get away. 
and sitting there quietly. Look, look up your financial advisor. It's all public record. We have to go through all kinds of hoops to make sure that we prove who we are. You even have to tell people if you had bankruptcies personally, right? So you'll see advisors that have, you know, multiple bankruptcies and things like that. Check them out before you do business with them. I hope you end up doing business with us, but just wanted to share a funny story with you. Uh, we don't have any submarines here, by the way, so you, you can kind of trust us a little bit more. <laughs> Enjoy your day and uh, your submarine rides if that's what you do.